and straight away it's a wicket. Jeremiah Louis has struck on the very first delivery of this CG United Super Cup. Well, that's a fantastic catch. Couldn't ask for a better start. Dad! Goes Ariel, hasn't quite got it, and there's a long off waiting, and the long off takes it, and it's two and two for the Leeward Islands. What a start this is after winning the toss. Clever bowling. Give it a little bit more here. Rakim Cornwall. And the fielder looked a little bit in doubt at first. Wasn't sure where he was from the boundary ropes. He's latched onto that, but there is a man in the deep. May have just misjudged it. And in the end, I think it's hit the rope on the fulls. Kevin Wickham early, just breaking the shackles. Gone away down to the backward square boundary there by Connor Wickham. Four runs. It was in the air for a, for a second or two. Dead. In the air again down to Ward. And oh, it looks like a good effort. Didn't manage to, to hold that one, but pushed it back. I think we're going to have a replay of that one to see whether he actually saved six runs there, Terence Ward. Took a good catch earlier as well down there on the long on boundary. But uh, looks like he saved that one, Mr. Croft. Fantastic work. Lots of open spaces and just as you said, Colin Croft, let that ball come on, found the gap outside that off stump. Presented by, with width by Colin Archibald. Uh, four runs to, to Wickham. Drop catch there, oh, what's happened there, Jeremiah Louis? Looked to be a regulation catch, it was hit with a bit of power. Long hop there from Colin Archibald and dispatched by Wickham. Pitch the ball up. Innovative stroke there. Kevin Wickham, reverse sweep of Kofi James, four runs, moves on to 40, looking good. Oh, chance, chance, yes! taken. Poor old Kevin Wickham, he was batting so well, wasn't he? He was pulling so well, that ball was there to hit. Shortage delivery from James. Oh, oh bit of aggression there and timing as well. From Keegan Simmons, he's been trying to get that shot away all innings. He's finally got his first boundary. What a glorious shot it was as well. Swept well, and that's going to be another boundary for Simmons. The first one he made himself came down the track. Beautiful timing. That one was a bit more of a freebie. James erring in his line. Oh, I tell you what, that was in the air right through the gap. Good bit of fielding on the boundary. I think he might have saved that. We'll have to have a look at that. Now, that was almost a fourth wicket. That was catchable height just to the right of Rakim Cornwall. Oh, deft touch, really deft that from Orgeist. Good effort by the fielder, but that's gone away for a boundary. Enjoyed that. I don't think Ward's trying to turn too many. Oh, that's close, very close, surely gone. As I was saying, just trying to play square of the wicket from balls that are very close to the stumps, and that just skidded on from Ward, had to be crashing into leg stump, surely. A little bit flatter, a little bit quicker. Yeah! Bat on it, 
and the celebrations begin. A huge wicket and persistent pays off for Kofi James. He's really put together this spell well and he's deserved that wicket. And when you get a ball to bounce like this, wrong shot. There is no future in that. The only thing that could be hit here is the edge. Oh, that's bold. Finally, the long vigil of Kevlon Anderson comes to an end. And what a strange way to get out as well. Again, the pace taken off that. And he's managed to glove that delivery, which looked like it was heading down leg side, back onto his stumps. There's a big shot. Has he got enough on it? Yeah. No. Oh, he's done brilliantly well. So well there, Hayden Walsh Jr. Don't mind him not bowling when he's doing stuff like that in the field. I think he has got that absolutely spot on. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And Joshua Bishop knows it. He's gone big. And he's just got enough on it. Straight back over the bowler's head. And what an introduction into the attack for Jeremiah Louis. As soon as Pierce back on the ball, the West Indies Academy looking much more promising. More fortune for Joshua James. Sometimes fortune favoring the brave over the keeper's head. And a first big over in a long time for the West Indies Academy. First a maximum, now a boundary. Rakim Cornwall continuing. James down the track again. Hasn't got it this time, hitting into the wind. And it's easily taken. Continue with the spinners. They've been bowling extremely well. And Joshua James hitting into this strong wind. That looked good. And Gustar says yes. Rakim Cornwall's got two in the over. And McKenny Clark just looking to turn it into the onside. Well flighted delivery. A poor attempt for McKenny Clark. Out the middle. And almost like they're batting on a different surface, the Lord of Batters. The way they've come into the game. Just picked it up, made it look effortless. And there you go. You just called it Mali. Devon Thomas just fending something straight to first slip. Well, that was an extremely wide delivery. Why did he go for it? Fabulous shot there. Casey Carty showing his class. Presented with width. Edge taken. Second chance. He parried it and then took the rebound. That was sharp. You must be a soothsayer. You called it. Bad shot. He's waiting and moving backwards to the leg side. Nicely caught there by uh, Bishop. That's Teddy Bishop. There's the big shot. Chance taken. That's a good catch. Running back. Never easy, those. Just backpedaled the man at backward point. The ball was spinning as well. Well, I hope you have the lottery numbers because he called this one too. He's trying to hit that right out of the park. Again, that's another drag down. That's punished by Carty. Not a good start this by Kevlon Anderson. Is it going to go to the boundary just? Bit of a freebie, you'd have to say. You don't see that too often with the floodlights on. He's going to put the light meter on top of the stumps and take a reading. Now, as I look around, it looks as though the lights are fully on. Maybe one or two of them are not fully firing. Big shot this time. And good awareness from Casey Carty because the mid-on was up in the circle. Hitting against the spin, but he's backing himself. And that will help take some of that pressure off. Gone all the way for a maximum. 
push, push, push. Edge and uh, just past slip, and it will run into the boundary as well. Some fortune for Casey Carthy in the last couple of overs, but the runs are following him. Most of 46. Straight to the man, and it's a wicket for Joshua James. At first, subdued celebrations, but Jamar Hamilton is livid, and that could be the wicket the academy need. Certainly a very big wicket for them. Went in there all the way. Well hold in the end, James celebrates. That was a beautifully timed stroke. We almost lost that one here from the, the commentary box. It raced to the boundary. Well, that man at the mid off takes the catch. But this is pressure. This is pressure allowed that shot. He's trying to get the ball away from a, an over that hadn't scored too many. He tried to hit that. It hit the top of the bat, this flies. <laughs> now that one is airborne. This could be out. It is out. That is the wicket that they needed. The West Indies Academy, exactly the reason that Joshua Bishop was brought back to get a wicket. This is one of the big ones. This is Raheem Cornwall. He's trying to hit that maybe over long on. It bounced, it bounced, and he just couldn't control it. So the bowler himself decides, I'm going to take this. Shot. Up and over the offside, didn't try to over hit. That is pure class from Casey Carty. There is po the possibility of going an up and over cover, which we've seen once already from Casey Carty. Not an easy shot, though. Comes down and hits straight and hard. That is a proper shot all the way. He's a talented young man. Can he lead his side over the line here? 17 not out now. Yeah. That's pulled up in the air. But quite a long way, all the way. I think that's just crept over the line. It has. Terence Ward getting in on the action. That's gone a long way, that pull shot. Good shot there. Just what the Hurricanes need. Trickles into the boundary. Very much so, and on this one, finds that gap through cover. Starting to time the ball quite sweetly now, uh, Terence Ward. He spent a bit of time. James again in there, but inside edge goes away. Down to the fine leg boundary. Casey Carty has had a bit of luck tonight, but he's, he's ridden that luck. Sweetly timed, that's a shot. That's a man full of confidence, Courtney Walsh. The way he stood tall. Well, that's a full toss, missed. Straight in the stumps, he's out ball. He's not gonna be happy with that when he sees the replay. It's almost a hallmark of what we've seen from Wickham. Maybe a bit too full on this occasion, but he's getting the ball. He's got the ball to dip. Deft. Deft stuff from Casey Carty. Gotcha. Aerial, but all about the positioning from here to Walsh Jr. It's too straight for that long on fielder. And well, that may just be the final nail in the coffin. Crafty, and that will be it. The winning runs for the Leeward Islands Hurricanes. Heartbreak for the West Indies Academy. So close, they fought so hard towards the end. But experience reigning, and that man on screen, Casey Carty, leading his team from the very onset to the promised land. Take a bow, young man.